I'm thinking about getting my hair cut, like properly shaved, maybe a little bit longer on top. Do you think that's a terrible idea? Let me know if you think that's a terrible idea, because I've been getting mixed comments on it so far, but I'm probably going to give it a go. Right, anyways. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to achieve macro photography if you don't have a macro lens. If you're interested in capturing close-up details of your subject, but don't have a macro lens, then don't worry. You can still achieve great results with some very simple techniques and gear. No, 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 what you planned out, everything that you built up isn't what you want. And I know, no, no, the life you're living isn't that fulfilling. Let me help you out. Lay your love on me. First, let's talk about some of the challenges that you might encounter when trying to shoot macro photography without a macro lens. The main issue is that you won't be able to focus on objects that are very close to your lens, which is what macro lenses are specifically designed for. This is known as the minimum focus distance. However, there are still some ways that you can get around this issue and capture some amazing macro shots. The first technique is using extension tubes. These are tubes that attach between the camera body and the lens, which will move your lens further away from the camera sensor. This will increase the magnification of the lens and allow you to get much closer to your subject and decrease that minimum focus distance. You can find extension tubes for pretty much any camera brand and they're a lot more affordable when compared to buying an actual macro lens. Another option is to use a close-up filter. These are often called diopters for cinema glass, and these are essentially magnifying glasses that you attach to the front element of your lens, which will allow you to focus much closer to your subject. These filters come in different strengths, so it's up to you on which one you select and how close you want to get. So you can choose the one that suits your needs. They're also relatively affordable and easy to find online too. One thing to note is that this may soften up the image depending on what filters you get. So that's just something to bear in mind. Another option is to use a reverse lens adapter. This is a simple device that allows you to attach your camera lens to your body but in reverse, which will give you a much greater magnification ratio. Again, you can find these adapters for most camera brands and like before, much more affordable when compared to buying an actual macro lens. An alternative to that is obviously just using your hand to hold the lens backwards on the camera, which I've done before. And with enough light and a fast shutter speed, uh, you can negate the shaky look that you get. With holding the lens on back Backwards, you are going to introduce some artifacts, lens distortion, some additional chromatic admiration and lens flares, but in my opinion that's all part of the beauty of using this particular method. And I've had some happy accidents in getting some really interesting looking images from using this technique. Lastly, you can try cropping in your photos and post-processing. While this won't actually increase the magnification of your lens, it can help you get a similar effect by focusing focusing on a smaller proportion of your image. Keep in mind that this method will obviously decrease the overall resolution of your images, so it's best to use that one sparingly. Now that you know some of the techniques of shooting macro without a macro lens, let's talk about some tips for how to get the best results. First, make sure that you have plenty of light. Macro photography requires a lot of light, so try shooting outdoors on a sunny day, or if you're using artificial light, then do make sure that that is uh, bright enough. Secondly, using a tripod or other stabilisation device to keep your camera steady. Macro photography is very, very sensitive to camera shake, no matter what technique you use, especially the handheld reverse lens technique. So using a tripod to at least keep that camera body stable is pretty essential for getting sharp images. Thirdly, experiment with different compositions and angles. Macro photography can be very creative, so try shooting from different angles and explore different compositions to create interesting and unique photos. That's it for this video on how to shoot macro without actually having a macro lens. If you've got any questions, then feel free to leave those in the comments section below.
Hello everybody, how's it going? If you like this video, then don't forget to give it a like. It really does help to beat the YouTube algorithm. If you're new to the channel, then make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all of the content being released on this channel. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.